I love this dog's bark. Titai, you okay? You all right? I know, I know, very stressful day. Love these windows, privacy. So it sounds like a storm is coming and tonight is going to be the first night where we have a HUD shower and air conditioning. So I have a feeling that neither one will work because we're in the Philippines and, and random things like that happen. Um, I love what the contractors drive. So you get an electrician, a plumber, the maintenance guy, we're missing a scooter. Oh, it's parked over there next to the shed we're gonna tear down. Uh, and then the air conditioner guys, which they're obviously delivering air conditioners, so they need the biggest vehicle, which is like the size of a golf cart. All right, I'm gonna step inside the uh, chicken run a lot. This is, I, I talked about another video, but I didn't do a video on it yet. Um, this is 40 feet by 22 feet wide, and I have two fish ponds in here as well, because uh, I'm gonna raise fish. So it'll run one way from the other, and then hydroponics will be all along the top along with the solar panel so it, that'll be a whole different series of videos i'm not going to get into that now i'm not raising fish until i uh, actually have uh, silverware and plates and everything but the plumber threw this tarp over this just in case it starts to rain because we think it's going to um, but we had a 2000 liter water tank installed so as you can see it's a little hard to tell but uh it's, it's, it's large, I mean, it's, it's very good size. So we also have a pressure pump and pressure tank right over there. So when this tarp is gone and the mess is picked up, I'll do a video all on, on that separately so everyone can see what we went with. Um, we could have just skipped that, uh, but it's not something I wanted to recommend. So I mean, that's, that's a smaller pump and a smaller pressure tank, but with the height of this, it's more than enough that we need. They said we could have gone with less. Um, they kind of laughed that we installed such a large tank, but my goal long term is to actually get rid of the AC water pump or well pump that we have and then get a DC powered one. So therefore, I'll just have a well pump that runs off of like two or three solar panels and then it'll run all day and then it's filling up the tank. And so we could always turn on the AC one if needed. Um, but ideally, we would just be filling that thing up during the day and then have a lot more water than we would need because I know based off of that bucket uh, exactly how much water I'm using showering, although I would like to take longer and warmer showers in the future. <laughs> but either way, uh, that's the way we're going to set it up long term. But right now, this pump works perfectly well. Um, the holding tank is working great. The pressure pump and the pressure, um, the pressure pump and the pressure tank are working good. So they just have a temporary line run right now, which I'll show you guys later on going over to the house um, before they make sure that everything is working perfectly before they just dig out a couple inches and then, and then put it in there. We wanna make sure everything's done correctly so that they don't leave and then you're dealing with it later. Cause like the one or two problems that I am having was from contractors and we couldn't test it. And then now they're long gone. Um, they're not any of the guys that are here but these guys it was you know here's your deposit and when it runs great then you get the rest so the bathroom guys know until we have a great hot running shower and the toilet's flush and there's no leaks then they're not getting the remaining the remaining of the money so they're making sure that they do it right and we're checking constantly um, which is good so like i said in one of my past videos it was great building this house for the first five years uh, being in another country and you know making decent money or good money being able to get 90 95 percent of this done and then coming here for these kind of finishing touches i didn't want the plumbing 100 percent done before i got here and i couldn't inspect the solar there's no way i wanted to do that uh, solar kept company kept reaching out to me wanting to install it and i kept saying why uh, one i want to be there when that happens and two a big part of the solar is your warranty well, why would I use up one, two, three years of my warranty when I'm not using the electricity and I'm not even around? So I have a feeling a bunch of my neighbors would have plug outlets plugged into my house um, and just pulling off of the power, which I wouldn't care. It'd be funny, but um, it's the Philippines. So that being said, uh, that's something I wanted to witness uh, along with the air conditioning as well. So we went back and forth on the units 
and as far as buying those kind of appliances it's tricky because we went to multiple different department stores and the units online that I read up on and had good reviews um, and I was comfortable with, I would show up and they would say, oh, that one's on sale. I'm like, oh, great, I'm gonna take three of them. Oh, we don't have any stocks. Okay, well, when are they gonna be in supply? I don't know, we haven't had any in a year. And I'm thinking, so why did they put them on sale this week? <laughs> they don't even have them available. Um, but either way, you have to actually go to every store and see what's available uh, write down the models and the makes that you're interested in and then go back to the hotel and, and do your research to make sure that you're comfortable with that unit. That, at least that's what I did. Um, I did this for a very large corporation um, for automotive businesses, not obviously houses, but point being is I would make sure I was making the right decision so my return on investment was correct and I'm not replacing it three times as opposed to spending more and buying the right one once. Uh, so anyways, when we were in Cebu and Dumaguete, we did a lot of shopping. We'd go back to the hotel, uh, she'd laugh, but then I would spend hours reading up on each, each item. And then I would say, okay, let's go with these ones, or we would talk about it, um, and then go from there. So, so far I'm really, really happy with everything, uh, minus a little bit of the electrical work, but that's not from this electrician. And yeah. Uh, one recommendation that I would give everyone is to pack ice cube trays, okay? Trust me, just pack them because it is hot and we finally got the fridge and freezer in and they didn't come with them, of course, and it wasn't on our, our top 10 items to pick up in my Toyota, so we didn't purchase them. And then we want cold drinks and there's fresh fruit everywhere and, and I don't want to drink a hot coffee right now, so needless to say, I just ice cube trays, just pack ice cube trays. It will save your life. Yep, still have a lot to do, but at least uh, all the tile was done around the pool. And we're making a lot of progress inside, as you can see. Including the dog. I mean, clearly putting in a serious amount of effort, aren't you? My own hapoon. How was that? Uh, never mind. My own buntag. So this bathroom is mostly done now. Ignore the random towel and clothes and cat toys that she's cleaning. Uh, there's what we took a shower out of last night, but they did get all of this installed. Uh, none of it's leaking right now, so this is good. Uh, toilet is working good. There's nothing wrong with that, along with the sink, which we just did uh, dishes for breakfast from. Um, both the drains work. We're obviously walking back and forth, so the place looks trashed. I mean, I'm going to clean it up, but that's not something I got to do right now. They're still working. I uh, definitely got to clean this glass. That's for sure from all the construction. Um, these these glass, these tempered glass that I bought for the upstairs and downstairs showered with install, that was part of the window and glass install. Um, I know I did a video on on that. If you haven't seen it, it's I'll put a link in the description, but that that's part of that price. So this isn't something that we did after the fact. Honey, so you're using my favorite mountain bike gloves for gardening? Oh, I don't have gloves, honey. Okay. That's yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So I'm happy to say we got one of the extra houses on our land demolitioned over the weekend. Uh, guys actually took it all down and they folded each one of the walls and took the roof off because they're actually relocating it. Uh, I gave it to them. I didn't want to. I didn't want to keep the house here on the property or anything, but they asked if they could keep it, and I said absolutely. So they took it down. Uh, they got most of the cement dug up, so I mean we'll have a, a garden area over here, so it's not going to look like this in the future. But at least we got the house out of the way because I hated uh, being in the office or the spare bedroom or even our room. And then every time we look out the window, we got this, you know, kind of smaller, not so pretty looking house in the way. Uh, air conditioners are up and running 100%, uh, two of them anyways. So we got the ones that they had in stock. The other one is on the roof of the bedroom, can kind of see it from here. Um, but the bedroom has AC, the office has AC right now. Uh, we'll deal with the other rooms here shortly we're having permanent power run along this wall just for the air conditioners um, the original electrician said that there was efficient enough power uh, however that turned out not to be the case so the office could power the air conditioners or it could power the office uh, but you could not turn on the lights and use the air conditioner so that being said we needed uh, to run over additional electricity and the welder is in here today um, getting the roof on that which I discussed earlier so then luckily this area is going to be cleaned up looking a lot better here shortly we already got most of the trash removed uh, he's almost done the roof right now and the plumbing and electrical was moved so this is going to be a much nicer area here shortly and I told him he's extremely brave because he's over there welding uh, in sandals so <laughs> yeah um, that uh, wearing flip-flops and welding isn't something that I would personally do but um, he, he said he's fine with it okay got the additional metal that I ordered dropped off so we get some C channel we get some square tubing and we get some angle bar I will put the prices in the description these are 20 feet long um, I'm going to weld up and make my own gym area because purchasing any of them I was not content with the quality or the price based upon what I was getting. Um, we rented a big truck yesterday, picked up the desk, original uh, missing door handles, um, all the additional fencing needed for the chicken coop area. Now we got our couch delivered, uh, washing machine, dryer, her little makeup desk area. Um, the TV and the sound bar is over there. Not that this is exciting to look at. Um, and we get the table delivered with all the chairs and of course the washing machine. So along, along with that, we had the, picked up all the silverware and plates and bowls and glasses and everything for the kitchen. Um, and as you can see, the kitchen is coming along nicely. Obviously it looks very messy because there's you know piles of stuff over there because this plumbing hasn't been done, but we got the granite cut um, had the sink installed and put into its place. Uh, we now have the tile because we obviously cut up the floor for the water line. So we'll get that installed, uh, I don't know, in the next couple of days. It's, we, we just got the tile in yesterday, so today's Friday. Um, but yeah, we got all of those countertops cut and the missing cabinet finally came in. So now we feel comfortable hanging up the rest of everything that we need to and then putting up the, uh, yeah, the black tile around there and the house is coming along nicely. It still looks uh, semi like a, a train wreck, but um, you know, it's random stuff we're putting in there and yeah, getting everything uh, situated here. So it's, it's livable. It's half a construction site and half a move-in site, but I'm, I'm happy to say we've made a, a lot of progress. Some of the missing shower pieces so we can hook up the second heater as well door locks are all installed it's uh yeah it's it's awesome i love it i'm happy i'm sweating it's 9 a.m and i'll be working all day and same thing saturday and sunday but that's all right because i live here and it's it we're happy and and we have puppies right huh who's not happy with puppies everyone loves puppies everyone loves puppies <laughs>